Hey everyone, the Ryan Defini here. I'm uh, setting up a little tutorial to start off with start off people with some um, Shader Forge, a certain plugin with which has just come to uh, Unity, the Unity Store, um, which is actually I've been following it. I have been in the beta. It is amazing, and it's, it's possibly the best shader editor for Unity right now. And well, it definitely isn't is. It's definitely on, on par with some of the other shared editors, so, um, from other, from even like UDK, I'd say this is a very good one. Um, works a bit differently, but I like it. <coughs> so, to be start with, with editing, um, so I'd start with editing any sort of like shaders, um, I would say just, uh, lo lo go to Window, if you haven't installed that is, go Window, go down to Shader Forge. Good. And this window should pop up. Okay, so you see there's a couple options here which you might want to click. Uh, new shader. This one you might want to make a new shader. I'll just create it here. Um, to sh shade. Or, that should do. That will also show up in. When you make that uh, to shader name, it will show up. One sec. It will show up uh, when you say select one of these. Uh, I'll show up here. So you go up to here in the material editor, uh, click on this, and go down to Shader Forge, which is a new category. You have Toot Shader here. Toot. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, you get the idea. Um, I'm going to quickly load up that character from before on, on here again. Just just to break her a little bit, I guess. You know, that, that should probably. Let's get another character in. That's Amy Rose from Sonic the Hedgehog, by the way, just so you know. She's my uh, test subject most of the time. Yeah, that should do. Okay, um... So, this is, a uh, It's actually a very nice editor. Um... To begin with, we've got, um, the various categories here of... Well, we've got all the categories. We can, we can use any, any or, or all of them, but... It's, uh... Yeah, it's fairly awesome. Uh, we got diffuse, which is basically the, the color on the top. Um, diffuse power. I see this like to intensify or, or sort of saturate it. Specular, which is just the shine. Um, gloss, which intensifies that specular. No, I'll just do some demonstrations of those while I'm going. Uh, value. Actually, let's go to vector four. Vector four is um, what you can use for color. Color for um nodes, or even better yet, we actually have a color node. I guess we can use either one, but one's more for specifically colors and one's for otherwise. Okay, so let's go into this one here. Diffuse. So, compile this. Yes, you can have it. I'll have it auto, which means it'll compile every single edit you do. Might be a bit slower, but it can be handy. Or you can just go compile shader every time you need to. So, that's diffuse. Um, it's just, it's just gray. If we say change the color slightly, like red, yeah, you see what it's doing? Yep. Alright. Also, to so you need to drag drag these and drop these across to connect them. Also, if you want to get rid of them, hold Alt and right click on one of these nodes. So that's diffuse. You need that. And diffuse power. Let's get another vector 4. Color, my bad. We can't copy paste uh, nodes yet. I imagine that's, uh, that might be on the way. It's such a good editor, you just. Uh, it's so hard not to pass up. Um, it's not doing a whole lot yet, but. Actually, maybe we need a compiler first. Aha, there you go. Um, this should work at the moment. Yep. Diffuse power. This is like either. That seems to like uh, make it more like posterized or something like that. Depending on how black or white it is. Or I guess you can use other colors too, but mainly black or white. So a more one zero or on off system. <coughs> Don't forget the numbers in between. Uh, we've got specular. Let's get another color node for that, which uh, makes change the color of the of the shine. I'll have read this time. Compile. And that should make like a slightly blue tint to the light. Yep. See that shine here? 
Bring that shine. Change the color of that. Gloss intensify that so we can just get a value of, of a single value, single number value, and put that into gloss. Change that like um, 10. Compile. That intensifies or unintensifies the lighting that you'll see on here. Yes. Um, let's go with. Zero. Let me just see 0 to 1, I think, so that should be fine. So that's actually looking like a nice sort of goldy texture. I just made an awesome gold. Okay, that's good to note. Um, and this combination, guys. Null, which is like a, a null map. Um, so I have like grooves or bumps to your object, which um, let's just people look into that if they want to. I want to see like really nice shaders or text materials or anything like that in game. Normals save on poly count and also just make an object look really good. Um, yes. Okay, so we got we got a mission. Let's get another color, no doubt. <laughs> yes, I know I'm doing this a lot. Alright, so a mission. Compile shader. It'll override what's I think on on the actual diffuse. If it goes over anything on the diffuse, you can see it it changes the color of the. Uh, it's basically like it's not it's what's not affected by light. Meaning you can have it like a glow if you want. That looks like an awesome neon to be honest. That that that's pretty cool. Alright, um I'll put disconnect that so we can see things a bit easier. Well again. That's the most awesome neon I've ever made. <laughs> I see. Um Well the transmission, I assume that's like a transparency of source. No, it must be two of alpha down here. Uh, you can check them at any point by just going right click. What does this? What does main do? Or what does this do? It'll open up a link in link in the web, and you will just see what it does. It's pretty amazing. Transmission does something. I can assume it's something to do with uh, alpha maps. So, in fact, let's try that. Let's get a value of zero to one or something. Yep. 0.4, meaning that's going to be halfway transparent. Let's try this. Yep, yep, that's the transmission is what is like the fill of that. Uh, it's the fill color of the transparency. So that's good. Yeah, that's actually quite nice. See how quickly this, this became like a very nice, uh, nice looking shader or material. Very cool. Light wrapping, I think I know what this does. Um, I've played around with it before. Of course, then I wouldn't know what it does. Um, this, this lab, I like a little texture just to show what this actually does. Texture 2D. Um, let's put this in this light wrapping. Right, I'll explain this texture set system in a, in a, soon. Uh, texture select, just, just for now. Yours. Light wrapping. Yep, okay. So, how to describe this? Hmm. Okay, um, go with alpha as well. Yes. Okay, so what this is doing is, um, basically, it's, well, it wraps up. It's like a system to light, wrap the light around this one object. You can basically use a color, you can use, like, a gradient, which is probably suggested more. <coughs> I think there's a ramp thing here. Pull those ramps somewhere. Oh well, if there isn't, don't worry about that. Um, this one there was. Anyway, uh, there's also some other things here. Light, light nodes, um, this alpha nodes, as I said before. Then this thing I really, really like playing around with. Um, there's outlines here, but then you have vertex offset. I like we have a tessellation thing here. Okay, um, let's, let's compile a shader and play around this. Well, Vertex offset is basically what moves the vertices, not the object itself, but the vertices on it. Which is fun. <coughs> yes. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's the thing. So that's most of these functions you have right here. Okay. Now let's, let's uh, start again from the top, but on this side this time. 
Um, let's start with just the arithmetic, just for now. Where are these? Just, just for now. Yep, that's fine. Right, I'll actually I'll, I'll continue this section in another video.